Welcome to the easy tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a alpha and to use that alpha we're going to stick it on a brush that we're going to make and we're going to make one using a ear. We're going to do a little bit of cheating so we're going to use a 3D character. Make sure the subdivision is fairly high. It don't have to be maxed out at first and I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to mask out part of the ear that we're going to be using. And actually I'm going to go a little bit further than I normally would on the masking and I'll show you why. And what I'm going to do is go down to masking and hide point. And we'll make that a polymesh 3D. Hit the F key to center it. And you can see I got a bunch of jaggeds around the edges and I'll still want to clean them up. So I made it a polymesh 3D so I'll be able to divide it again. The jaggeds are really not going to be a real big factor, but uh, I'd like to have it fairly clean. So, I'm going to hold the control, control key down. I'm going to mask a little bit uh, more on the inside here. And we're going to repeat this, and I'm going to go to high point. Now I'm going to scale the ear up here and uh, just make sure my double sides on. And I'm going to make the ear quite large on the canvas because uh, the alpha that we're going to be using would work a lot better when the image is a little bit larger than normal. It's better to start large rather than to start small. I'm going to select the uh, MRGBZ grabber and I'm going to start in the middle of the ear and drag out and let go. As you can see it grab it cropped the image rather than crap the whole document itself. So that's all I wanted. Let me clear the layer here. Just to prove it's got some good depth to it, we'll just go to the uh, alpha palette and crop and fill. As you can see there, pretty much uh, the alpha is the same as uh, it holds all its depth and all that, which is going to be good. And I'm going to select another character here. Okay, I'm going to be applying the alpha to the uh, head here. And when you do that, you want the geometry somewhat pretty high. And I'm going to slide the alpha palette over here. Now I'm going just for the sake of it, I'll just open up the alpha here. And you can see the one that I grabbed here was called the Depth Grab 01. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and reload this one that I made earlier. Because when I did that, it, and it keeps all the settings here. Well, you can see this ear alpha looks a little funnier than the depth one I did and there's a reason why that is here's a big factor also the intensity if I drag on here you can hardly see a bump so we need to set the intensity up got another problem it seems like the ear is going on upside down but the alpha is upside up upright well, actually, that's a little bug, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the uh, alpha, actually upside down in the palette. And if I click on the canvas, you can see now, now it's going the right way. But you notice I, when I control Z that, when I put it on here, it goes on like it should on both sides. I control Z that. Now I'm going to do it on this side. As you can see, now it goes on facing the opposite way. So you'll have to do it to one side or another, or just go ahead and flip the alpha. And just usually just stick to one side or another. And there's a lot of options that you need to mess with. Uh, there's like the blur. 
Now, I use the blur because if you see the top of the ear here, it goes way out and it can get really jagged if you don't blur it. And best way to do is experiment by con control Z it. Maybe set your blur down. And just mess with it. And just like the radical uh, fall off. As you can see, now it's got big old bumps around the where I mask at. So if I set that back to about where it was at, it kind of blends into the mesh there. You also got the intensity and the contrast and the, uh, the focal shift down here. And these are some of the settings you want to try and adjust yourself. And I got another tutorial that shows you how to make an icon for your brush and how to save your brush. But anyway, this will give you a little demonstration and how to make an alpha and basically how to cheat. Thank you very much.